Good morning students. Welcome back to our zoology class. And today we are supposed to discuss one new chapter that is chapter 6 and the title is evolution. Right? And first of all let us see what is evolution. Right? And let us see this uh, explanation which is given in your text. The term evolution is used to describe heritable changes in one or more characteristics of a population of species from one generation to the other. So here the key point we have to notice here it is changes. Right? The changes. Which changes? Heritable changes. What do you mean heritable changes? The changes may transfer from one generation to next generation. That may be the changes may occur in one character or more characters. Right? So that is known as, as evolution. It may happen even in one population of a species. Right? So basically we can say the changes which occur in one species to species or in the population of the species. That is known as, as evolution. Or if you say in simple manner how this life is originated. If you if we start from the basic, we could say how this life is originated or we could say how these organic substances are formed from this inorganic substance, right? Or how one single cell is made to do multicellular organisms, right? So these things only we are going to learn under this title as evolution, right? How the life is created or originated, fine? So this evolution they have divided as three uh, types that is chemical evolution, organic evolution as well as social or cultural evolution. So evolution the changes may happen in the chemicals. In the chemical level it may happen or it may happen in this organic level in this you know cells or organs level it may happen organic level it may occur or we can say it may happen in the social or cultural evolution also. So evolution or changes may happen in the culture or in the social activities also. Right? So here mostly we are going to see regarding this chemical changes. Fine? And first of all let us see here how this, this the preform, the first, the primitive earth, how it was. Right? So let us see. Radiometric dating of meteorites yields an estimated age for the solar system and for earth as around 4.5 to 4.6 billion years. So the age of this earth is 4.5 to 4.6 billion years which is determined by this radiometric dating method. So radiometric dating is one of the method to calculate the age of this any substances whatever may be it is even if it is living substance or non-living substance. For example, this radiometric method only they use to calculate the age of these fossils or rocks and whatever may be, right? So as per this method, they calculated the age of this earth, right? That is 4.5 to 4.6 billion years, right? Okay, then the first, when this earth is originated, The earth at first it was too hot. Okay. And moreover here they mention this newborn earth was inhospitable for at least few hundred million years. For few hundred million years the earth was not organized or arranged like you know like a ocean uh, like a you know seashore region or like a you know paddy fields or agriculture lands. In such a manner, it was not arranged. It was not organized. So that's what they mentioned about it was uh, remain inhospitable. Okay. So it was somewhat not arranged manner. Right. Okay. And, and they said it was too hard. This is because the collisions of this planetesimals that collapsed to form earth released much heat to melt this entire planets. So the planets is to move around and it used to attach each other. I mean this dash each other. Right. So during this process it is producing this lot of heat. So it is started to melt this entire planet. Right. But eventually when it is started to melt. So that's what they said. 
in the egg in the cell that there is this core is there this is too hot right but eventually by the same time outer surface outer surface started to cool and it is became solidified to form a crust so the outer surface of this earth is known as a crust and it is allowed to survive this animals i mean living things right so because it is cool so that outer surface is known as a crust right water vapor released from this planets interior cooled and condensed to form ocean so so interior side of this you know planets or earth it is started to release this water the water vapor right and finally it is cooled and condensed together and it is formed as a ocean okay hence origin of life can be reconstructed using indirect evidences right so they started to give this you know indirect evidences to prove this origin of this life right consequently biologists have turned to gather disparate bits of information and filling them together like pieces of jigsaw puzzle so this you know biologists biologists have started to collect this information so whatever they got every day what everything they received and they started to match each other and they they started to resemble each other every work they have done it is just like this you know the puzzles which you we will collect these pieces and we we used to join together to make one figure right likewise right many theories have been proposed to explain the origin of life and few have been discussed in our chapter so many biologists have started to you know research regarding the origin of this life how it may be how it may be right okay so lot of biologists has given this lot of theories and in our chapter few theories uh, suggestions has given by the biologists or evolutionists and uh, regarding this origin of this life right and let us go on this the theories what is given by our biologists fine so origin of life evolution of life form how this life is originated right okay so the first theory is theory of special creation theory of special creation states that life was created by a supernatural power respectfully referred to as god according to hinduism lord brahma created the air christianity islam and most religious believe that god created this universe the plants and the animals got it so theory of special creation says so this earth or this universe is created by the supernatural power and respectfully we have given this word this the supernatural power as a god so if you go as the base of this hinduism they may see this as the god as is you know brahma the brahma has created this earth but as per the christianity we could say this god has created this earth and as per the islam so if you go every you know religious this religious people say in their views according to their you know studies fine okay that is related to this theory of special creation the supernatural power or the god has created this earth right Now let us go on the second theory the theory is according to the theory of spontaneous generation or it is known as abiogenesis right abiogenesis means spontaneous generation or it is known as abiogenesis theory it is given by the person thomas huxley coined the term abiogenesis so it may well be asked as a one mark question you can note it down thomas huxley so already the types of evolution will be asked as a two mark question and what will be what is evolution will be as a three mark question fine so according to this theory living organisms are originated from this non living materials and occur through the step wise chemical as well as molecular evolution over millions of years so this theory says and living substances living organisms are originated from non living materials and it is going for lot of this uh, you know molecular evolution in this molecules level or in the chemical level there is step wise there is lot of changes occur and finally this living things will be created have we got so the living things are created from the non living substances 
okay and this living non living substances go for so many chemical as well as molecular changes evolutions or changes and finally it becomes a living substance right so this is stated by this person thomas huxley right and let us go on to the next theory that is known as big bang theory big bang means explosion okay explains this origin of universe as a singular huge explosion in physical terms physically one huge explosion has happened so because of this explosion this universe is created this right there is big bang theory okay and first they said that primitive earth had no proper atmosphere but consisted of ammonia methane hydrogen as well as water vapor so this theory is going to say how this you know living substance or organic substance is created right so listen here the first the primitive the, the pre form i mean this the first year that is we can say as a newborn that we can say as a primitive year, had no proper atmosphere at that point already we said there was no proper atmosphere was there in this yet the climate was not clear ocean was not there waterfalls was not there plants were not there okay organisms were not there okay so that's what they said there was no proper atmosphere but it had some important gases so that you have to note it down because it will be even asked as a trauma question right ammonia methane hydrogen as well as water vapor so these substances were available in this primitive year okay so the temperature of the earth was extremely high already we said it was extremely high right so what happened then again you arrange from the sun split of water molecules into hydrogen and as well as oxygen so now what happened there uv rays are sent from the sun this uv rays are split up this water so when the water split up it became as a hydrogen as well as oxygen okay so h2o is a molecular formula for water right so when the uv rays fall on this water the water has split up into hydrogen as well as oxygen oxygen is this, you know this gas for living substance right so what then what happened there gradually the temperature cooled so since it is split up it this, the temperature is started started to cool and the water vapor contains to form rain right so since it is cooled the temperature is cooled the water vapor is condensed if the water vapor condensed surely it may become as a rain so this is the area the rain has started have you got rain water filled this depressions to form this water bodies so wherever there was this depressed areas was there and everywhere this rain water is filled right ammonia and methane in this atmosphere combined with the oxygen to form carbon dioxide and other gases so already we said ammonia as well as methane is there right so this ammonia as well as the methane in the atmosphere combined with the oxygen now oxygen is we have formed already right because of this uv rays water is split up into hydrogen as well as oxygen now this ammonia as well as methane combined with this oxygen and it is forming as a carbon dioxide and other substances also okay so these are all organic gases we can see have we got so this is some other step by step gradually the living substances was created this is a theory set by this big bang big bang theory is it okay then let us go on this next theory that is theory of biogenesis theory of biogenesis already we explained about this abiogenesis it states the living things or or organisms are created from the non living substance right there are some chemical as well as this molecular evolution takes place then finally it is becoming as organic molecules right but here this is theory of biogenesis means life arose from pre existing life so one life may be developed or it could be developed from this pre existing life already one life is existing from that pre existing life one new life may evolve okay so that is this theory of biogenesis 
So that's what they said biogenesis. Okay. The term biogenesis also refers to this biochemical process of production of living organisms. So here the biochemical biochemical processes may take place. The chemicals are related to bio living substance. So biochemical processes may happen and this living substance will be produced. Fine. And this theory is coined by the person Henry Bastian. So this also will be asked as so on my question. Fine. And let us go on this next one according to the theory of chemical evolution. So here we are coming to the point regarding chemical evolution. Okay. So let us see how what this chemical evolution says. Fine. So let us go on theory of chemical evolution. So this theory says the primitive organisms. Primitive organisms means what do you mean? Primitive organisms means the first organisms. The organisms which is formed as first in the beginning. So that we can see as primitive organisms. So these primitive organisms are formed from inorganic substances and lightning, then UV radiation as well as volcanic eruption etc. Right? So uh, in the primitive organisms, it is a living organisms. Right? So these living organisms are created from these inorganic substances as well as physical activities such as lightning, UV radiation, volcanic events etc spontaneously this so this uh, organisms are evolved from this okay and this is explained this is the concept of theory of chemical evolution and this concept is explained by two persons so one person is known as oparin in the year 1924 oparin concept okay so the concept of oparin is the organic compounds right so the organic compound is going for a series of reactions. How the organic compound is formed? This organic compound is formed from this inorganic substances as well as from these physical activities. Right? So from this inorganic substance, organic compound is formed. Right? And this organic compound is going for some series of reactions. The reactions, it is not mentioned there, but they said of course it go for some series of reactions. Right? And when it go for series of reactions, it is forming as a complex molecules. This is organic compounds. Organic compound is going for series of reactions and it is becoming as a complex molecules. Okay. So these complex molecules is finally it is becoming as it aggregates together and finally it is forming as a coserbates. Coserbates is a new term. This means it is a first pre cells which gradually taps for, transformed into living cells. So coservates means it may be as a 3 mark question or 2 mark question. Coservates means pre-cells. Pre-cells means it has not yet started to function as a living cell. So this coservates only going to become as a living cells. So that is why they mention as a pre-cells. Right? So the complex molecule is becoming as a coservates, the pre cells, and finally this coservates able to absorb and assimilate the organic compounds which is present in this environment. So finally it is becoming as when this coservate is absorbing and assimilating the organic compounds from the environment, it will become as as living cells. They said. Have you got the point? This is a concept said by this pairing. Okay. So the same kind of this concept is said by this another one person and his name is known as Haldane in the year 1929. So both the persons have worked individually but their concept is same. So that's what they said Uparin Haldane concept. Fine. And let us see what is the concept of this Haldane. Right. So the Haldane says, first of all he mentioned about the sea, ocean. So the ocean or sea is a chemical laboratory because here it's mentioned as a laboratory because this ocean consists of this lot of chemicals so hence he mentioned the term as uh, sea is a chemical laboratory okay and this consists of this 
you know actually when uh, during this time there was no oxygen first in the primitive year already we said in this you know big bang theory there was no oxygen so how the oxygen is formed in the big bang theory we said you will split the water and it will be make it into hydrogen as well as water, oxygen right so the same point in here he said the first it was this chemical laboratory the c was the chemical laboratory because it consists of lot of chemicals right and there was no oxygen the atmosphere was oxygen free there was no oxygen in the environment right and what was left in the environment carbon dioxide ammonia and uv rays so these things will be left there okay so these things combined together so carbon dioxide ammonia and the uv rays combined together and it is forming as organic compounds so you will see ammonia and the carbon dioxide formed together and it became as organic compounds so the, the, uh, there was this lot of organic compounds for there hence he has given the term this as as hot dilute soup for c so here he said this term for c it is hot dilute soup because it consists of lot of this organic compounds now okay so this hot dilute soup consists of of course organic monomers as well as a polymers monomers single unit also will be there as well as it may form as a complex molecules that is known as as polymers so it may be as a monomers or it will be as a many molecules together as a polymers fine so this organic monomers or polymers could absorb this lipid so lipid from the same bond may and and after acquiring this lipid membrane it is became as a first living cell okay so it became as a first living cell and the first living cell only known as as a coservates of course as we said coservates coservates could able to absorb and assimilate this organic compounds and finally it may become as a living cells so both of their concept is same right so here he said regarding the c c is one of this in a chemical laboratory so and there was no oxygen in the cell bronan so that's why the carbon dioxide ammonia and the uv rays is combined together and it is forming as a organic compounds so organic compounds since there was lot of organic compounds it is known as as hot dilute soup c is known as as hot dilute soup because it consists of organic monomers as well as polymers right so this again it will absorb this lipid membrane then it combine as us first living cell that is known as as coservates and this coservates is become as us you know living cells right so i hope you can mind up this class here and we said about this theories for evolution and first theory is special creations second theory is spontaneous generation third theory big bang theory and this fourth one is biogenesis theory and this fifth one is chemical evolution right this is this five theories we said and please go ahead with this topics and and complete this homework also very well and please stay at home and pray very well right and let us meet in the next class with the next topic fine thank you